Hi everyone and welcome to the 24 Knitting Tips of Christmas 2022 with your host Arne and Carlos. The 24 Knitting Tips of Christmas Arne. Yeah, they will make your knitting life easier. We, we hope. hope. <laughs> oh, that was, that was oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, we are doing this little <laughs> calendar this year popping into your screen every day to give you a little knitting tip. Anna, Eric and PJ have put comments from our lovely viewers in the sweaters. We get a comment each this year and we are revealing two comments every day. Uh, we are revealing a Christmas ball that, by the way, is not here. <laughs> <laughs> just a minute. I'm, I'm just waiting. We are revealing a Christmas ball every day, if Carlos can find it. And we have a competition. I'm back. <laughs> So yes, we're definitely revealing a Christmas ball every day and we have this amazing competition where you can win a private meet and greet with yours truly, Arne and Carlos, and you can do that together with two of your best friends. So we have the advent calendar with comments from some of you viewers and there's a motif and you will... Yeah, underneath. You have to try to guess what the motive is. And the winner of the who has the correct guess will win the grand prize. The way to do it is you put the guess in the comments. As many times as you want, as many days as you want. As soon as you know the answer, go back to the previous days and put it in the comments. Just make sure you keep putting it in the comments. We're going to select a random day, just the Wednesday after Christmas. And then the Sunday after Christmas, we are going to select a random comment and that's going to be the winner. So nobody knows, not even we know which day and which comment it is. So it's all open for you to do it as much as you can so that you can win this prize. Yeah, and little by little now, you will see more and more of the motive. Yeah. And, and we're going to give you a hint as well. This, we've given three hints. We've yeah, been very generous. I think we have the given... But today we're only going to give I'm one to give one today. So what's the hint, Arne? It happened a very long time ago. Or maybe we should skip the hint today. Yeah. Yeah. We don't give a hint today. Well, I actually just did. You did? I said it happened a long time ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> your this guess is, is as so good difficult. as mine. What can it be? What can it be? What can it be? I don't know. No. So, we, we, I have no clue. I have no clue. No. Anyway, I've got a knitting tip for you guys today. Uh, this is a very valuable knitting tip um, and it is all about yarn. Now, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you the truth about yarn. Um, <laughs> when you choose the yarn you want to work with, always choose the best quality yarn that you can afford. But remember, the most expensive yarn inside the yarn store is not necessarily the best. What does that mean? Okay, cashmere is probably going to be the most expensive yarn uh, unless you have something hand painted. But anyway, cashmere <laughs> is going to be the most expensive yarn. But cashmere is not a very durable uh, yarn and it pills very fast. So a better quality yarn is 90% wool with 10% cashmere. The price is going to be lower, but it's going to get the resistance of wool and it's going to get the softness of cashmere. Yarn blends bring out the best in everything and usually are priced lower than the pure real things. Yeah. So really remember, get the yarn that you can afford, that is the best quality you can afford, but forget about those expensive cashmere yarns, those expensive alpaca yarns, they are not necessarily the best. And remember, you spend a lot of time if you knit a sweater, for yeah. example, so it's always nice to use a good yarn. So. The, the sweater or whatever you knit can last longer. Yeah, and even with acrylics, yeah. there's a difference between the quality of certain acrylics and then, again, other acrylics, and some are better than others. Ask your yarn store for advice and for help, but stay away from those super expensive yarns because you can always find something better in a lower price range. This is a very valuable import and important uh, tip that I think a lot of people will find a relief because sometimes you get into this, oh, I wish I could afford that. But you know what? You don't need it anyway. So just enjoy <laughs> what you have and just get the best quality of that instead. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we're going to be doing a little... That was a g good tip. Yeah. Yeah. So, so should we pick a sweater? Yeah, or well, not pick a sweater. We've got number We have to take number three. three. So we, we're not picking any sweater. We're picking number three. Okay. So that is this one. Okay. Okay. And let's see. So this is for you. Yeah. And don't open it. I'm going to hold tight and I won't open. But this is for me. So this is from the last live stream we did. From, okay. Yeah. From Lori Fontaine. And she says, so happy to watch your smiling faces as usual. Thank but you. I have to say, your curtains made my heart sing. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was from home. Yeah, those but curtains. That, oh, this was, yeah. Uh, what joy must you have sitting in that room? Thank you for all you do. You inspire us to enjoy the process of creating and see beauty all around us. Hugs to you both and hugs to you. Hugs to you. And first of all, as you all know, because we've said it before, this is not a live stream right now and it's pre-recorded. Our advent calendar is pre-recorded. And this live stream took place a while ago when we were sitting in this very same room. Um, and yeah. it is a beautiful room. It's a good winter room because in the summer we normally just walk through the room because yeah. we have the, the do a door, a veranda door, and we have a terrace outside or a veranda, mm -hmm. what you call it. So the room is more a winter room. That's why the, the walls are dark blue and the curtains are also very good in winter. And there's a story and about the curtains fireplace. too. There's a story about the curtains. We used to have um, a set of cotton curtains. Uh, they were uh, a cheap cotton, very thin, printed, um, and they had a red fringe on them. I don't know who was the culprit. But one of us, whether it was you or me, no, I don't, no, 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 I think no. it was me. I think it was me. But anyway, one of us put them in the washing machine and washed them. And when they came out, they were ruined. Yeah, because the all the flowers were yeah. pink. But the all. curtains were black yeah. with florals. Yeah. And so we were both very sad because we loved those curtains. And then we went to our friend who had a furnishing store. And we looked at all her books. And finally, we found these curtains. Yeah. And they were the ones that looked the most similar from the curtains that we had had in the past. So we actually haven't changed the style of curtains in this room for over 20 years, yeah. actually. But we have changed the curtains because we of the incident. We have changed the curtains incident. because of the other one. I don't I really, think, I think it was me. Yeah, but we still have one set yeah. that still look good. And that was in the guest house for yeah. a while. But the problem is we need three sets yeah. because we've got two windows here and a door over there. And I think I, b I bought those curtains when I was very young. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. I mean, what a travesty. Yeah, in the grocery store oh, in the no. basement where I come from, they had the yarn shop and they had uh, fabrics. I got a dirty look from Eric. What? Well, I started reading and he looked at me. I'm not supposed to read it until we're on camera. But which... you can read it now. Now I can read yeah, it. read it now. So, sorry, Eric. So Kathy Goodman says, and it doesn't say which episode it is, so we're just going to read it anyway. Kathy Goodman says, have a wonderful trip here in the US. I really wish I could have seen you while you were here. You guys are too popular, LOL. Arne, your knitting is just amazing. Carlos, I have trouble multitasking too. Yeah, everybody knows that. I multitask, not very well. For those of you who saw some of the cruise, the, the cruise yeah. you know he is not good at multitasking. I think it's wonderful that you interact with the people like you do. Arne, we want to interact with you too. I'll be here looking for your podcast whenever you manage to post one. Thank you, Kathy. I know that you have been posting for quite some time now. You're one of our loyal followers and we really appreciate it your participation in our channel. We hope that next time we go to the USA that we do get to meet yeah. you. Uh, it all depends, of course, of, of where we'll be and, and where you live. Uh, but we will be back. But we will certainly go back to America again, yeah. uh, North America again at some point. So uh, yeah, very, very lovely comment. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> um, and now we are gonna reveal the Christmas ball. Uh, which I actually had to run and pick up. Yep, but here it is. The ball of the day. The ball of the day has an eight-pointed star or an eight-leaf rose. And uh, for all of you who have uh, followed us uh, here on YouTube, you've probably seen our show uh, in Satastal, where we met the amazing Anamur 
Sunbe, which you actually um, featured on episode two. Yeah. And Anamur told us a lot about the eight leaf rose or eight pointed star in our interview with her. Um, and the meaning of this in Norwegian culture is resurrection. And it's very, very important. Uh, a very, very important meaning on this pattern. And uh, you couldn't actually wear it, a sweater with this, un until you were confirmed in church, which is at 15 year olds here in so you're uh, Norway. So you old enough. I'm old enough now and I'm actually, I have it here. <laughs> there it is. There is the right eight pointed star or the eight leaf rose. And it's the white part, which yeah. is supposed to go in the pants. So I guess that it's protecting. Your uh, private. Well, protection anyway. Parts. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Something. Anyway, that is the meaning of the eight-pointed star. This rose is go or star is going to go on the Christmas tree. And we will see you again tomorrow. Yes. And remember also, we've got our merch. Uh, this is the uh, yellow Volkswagen that is a tribute to Kate from the last uh, Homely House. We hope you are enjoying uh, seeing her YouTube channel as well. She's got loads of lovely things there. And we love, love yeah. Kate. And we're going to... Hopefully meet her next year. Yeah. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And, and see you tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow. Bye. Bye.